Hello, uh, my name's Marcellus. I own a company called DFX Moto. That's DFX Moto. We're based in Maidstone, and um, these are some of the machines that we build. Um, the bikes we build, we've built calf racers and bobbers and such like, but the stuff I really like to build is it all has a 1920s sort of influence. Uh, we're not looking to recreate a 1920s bike, but just borrow influences from the 1920s. So this particular machine here, um, we didn't build the frame, um, but we built the rest of the bike. The frames were built by a Japanese company called Snake Motors. Uh, I believe they built 500 bikes uh, and each one was was specifically numbered obviously this one is number 168 they were all 50 cc they all used the honda type um, honda cub type engine they were drum brakes all round um, and, the, and the front suspension was slightly different so we managed to obtain a complete bike number 168 and put our own spin on it we um, we put in a 160 engine with machined internals, a low compression piston, intercooler, supercharger. This is a uh, supercharger, it's 160cc supercharged um, and it's running at one bar or one, one and a bit bar, about 20 psi on full, um, on full chat. Um, this today is the first time it's going to be ridden in anger um, up test hill we've ridden it in a few places it tends to do one of two things it will either run great or blow up um, and we've blown it up twice um, so i'm i'm there's a possibility i may make a, comp a complete arse of myself today <laughs> um, this one this was Originally, the donor bike was, it was actually quite a rare JDM bike called a Honda Solo. Uh, they were only made for the Japanese market. Again, it was 50cc. We put our own um, uh, 212cc engine in this. It's got loads of low end snot. Uh, believe it or not, you'll get 80 mile an hour out of it. Um, and it's a hoot to ride. It's stable. We did all the swing arm ourselves, uh, the engine installation. And again, it was the inspiration behind this was uh, I'm, a, I'm a Tintin fan. Um, and the inspiration behind this was I figured it, it might be something that Tintin might ride. Uh, it's got that look about it. Um, and it's just a blast. It's reliable, not like that thing. Um, it goes really well and it's just comfortable um, and, and a lot of fun. Um, people really seem to like this little bike. Uh, and then this one, finished this, um, what are we now, July. I finished this in March. Um, the donor bike, so from here to here is stock. Um, it's the stock engine minus the tank, of course. Uh, again, built in the 20s influence, which is the kind of look that I like. Um, but when it was finished, I needed to call it something. People, you, they often ask me, why is it called a Lister? Lister never made a motorcycle. And that's exactly why it's called a Lister, because I'm a fan of Lister engines. I didn't want to plagiarise the name of a, an existing uh, motorcycle manufacturer. Um, so, like I said, I have, a, fa I have a, a, a passion for Lister engines. And I figured if Lister ever built a bike, it, it might look something like this, you know. Um, I'll run you over a few parts on it. This is a, a German World War II field telephone box. Um, that's, you can put a few tools in there. This is uh, Atco lawnmower, uh, 1947 I believe. It splits and you can get a bottle of drink in there. Um, the 
the emblem on the front that's I believe that's 1927 Cadillac LaSalle uh, the exhaust is BSA uh, and most of the brass parts were, were, were made by us um, this this copper plate here uh, was donated by my father who's who's 90 years old he's a retired doctor and if you flip it over, it's the brass sign that was outside his surgery. <laughs> so on the other side, it's got his name and then the, the, uh, the letters after his name, because it used to be on the wall outside his surgery. But that was my father's um, donation to the build. And then on the back here, um, I found this hand off a mannequin in a skip. Uh, I painted it up just to look sort of brass looking and then mounted the light on that. Um, that seems to draw attention people seem to like that um, but overall because it's only 250 cc I've probably I would estimate doubled the weight of the original bike the, the Springer front end alone weighs three quarters of a ton uh, it's underpowered it rides nicely but it's underpowered and uh, it's really an A and B roads kind of take it out on a Sunday bike uh, but it's a lot of fun and then this one um, this is a stock mash um, they are French uh, the, 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 they're a French company um, I bought this on a whim um, because I just liked it it's a 650 single it has a Honda clone 650 engine the only mods I did to it was added these extra LEDs and uh, put the bags on it. It had a really quite unpleasant BMW style hugger affair here, which I removed, put a side plate on it and changed the exhaust. But the, what you see is basically a stock um, 650 mash track start. Um, it's got loads of no end snot. It's a 90 mile, about, 90 mile an hour bike and it's awesome fun. Um, and that's what there is here today.